Hello and welcome to the video demo of Prism Strip tool. Prism Strip is actually a part of Airbase suite of products. As the name suggests, Prism Strip actually strips the Prism header in IEEE 802.11 wireless packets. Let's see the usage of Prism Strip. So the usage is very simple. It's Prism Strip in file out file. So Prism strip actually takes two arguments. First argument is the input file. Second argument is the output file. So you are supposed to give a pcap type of file as an input file which contains the prism header. Prism strip also removes the checksums which are present at the end of the packet. So like in 802.11 packets, FCS kind of checksums frame checksums are present at the end of the packet. So prism header can also remove such checksums along with the prism headers. Let's take one example of prism strip tool. I have already created an input file named input.cap. Let's open this file with the help of Wireshark. It is a wireless packet capture and which is containing the prism header. Now prism with the help of prism strip tool will be able to remove the prism header and a standard 802.11 packet will be seen. So I have to run prism strip input dot cap and I will give my output file name as output dot cap and it has converted all 666 packets read and 666 packet wrote. So it has converted all the packets from input file to output file with stripping the prism header as well as the checksum. So if I again open now output.cap file, now my file doesn't contain the prism header. It only contains your frame that is initial uh, pcap header and then directly comes the IEEE 802.11 header. So prism strip is a simple tool which actually strips off the prism header as well as the checksums. But even if the checksums are erroneous, those checksums are also stripped off. So in initial mad wifi ng driver, it does not use to remove the checksums, but it used to append the packet with the last four byte checksum. So standard protocol analyzer tools like Wireshark or Ethereal used to interpret those checksums also as a part of packet and used to show that packet as malform packet. To avoid such erroneous classification to malform packets, you can use prism strip tool to strip the checksums from your packets. That's all for this video. For getting more knowledge about wireless protocols, wireless packets, web cracking, etc., feel free to browse securitytube.net for updated videos. Thank you.